Hi everyone, I'm Professor Sally Eves and I believe the time is now to evolve the narrative on diversity, equity and inclusion in the field of artificial intelligence and close those intention and action gaps around representation. To support this, visibility really matters and it's my pleasure to shine a light here on the people and projects making a difference with leadership from bleeding edge startups to global enterprise. When it comes to considering training, entrepreneurship, research and other career opportunities in AI, I hope this helps you or someone you know to believe. This could be me. Lovely to see you again. Welcome to the show and welcome to our audience today. Could you tell us a bit more about your role at AWS? Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Um, I, I lead our artificial intelligence pu public policy for, for AWS. Oh, fantastic. Very much looking at well AI diversity in the sector and you know, how we can enhance this ecosystem. Why does that matter so much to you? Well, it matters to me on a personal level, but, but um, in addition to that, it's, it's good for science and it's good for business. So we know that diversity in teams make for better creative outcomes, better Absolutely. decision making, but it's also just the right thing to do. Exactly. I couldn't agree more. I think shared value business models, so to speak, is a way to go. And you're right, all the research teams are more creative, satisfied, innovative if you've got that diversity and it reduces that risk of implicit bias as well. So wonderful stuff. So I know at AWS you're doing a lot at the moment to really support diversity in the in, um, talent pipelines as well, frankly. Can you tell us mm -hmm. more about some of those programs? So, I mean, we have so many education yep. programs that really sort of are looking at STEM education for different types of learners at different different stages of their learning journey and, and also, you know, how they how people want to learn. But specifically, um, and so broadly, we've announced $50 million to, to train 29 million people by 2025. Mm -hmm. But specifically, we have some um, targeting both at young female learners. But one of the great programs um, that we're excited to talk about this week is AIM High. And AIM High is, we have other programs for startups and for founders, but this one specifically supports women and the challenges that they have in finding, founding a new business. So around how you mitigate bias in fundraising and asking for money. And it really sort of addresses those specific challenges that women have.